Hey everyone, welcome back. And we can probably get rid of this array prototype.push, although let's leave Mozilla Developer Network open for now. You'll probably be looking at this from time to time, so we'll just leave it up there. So the first problem is compute tripled area. Oh wait, we forgot the little beginner part. So this is math three, part two, although you probably know that. Compute the tripled area of a rectangle. So we're gonna write a function called compute tripled area of rectangle, given a length and a width of a rectangle returns the rectangle's area multiplied by three. Okay, so relatively straightforward problem here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the area, and that's of course the length times the width. Then we want tripled, so we'll say that's area times three. And then we're gonna return tripled. Now it's not important if this is not how you spelled tripled, so long as you spell it the same way the whole time. So area is equal to length times the width, tripled is equal to area times three, and then return tripled. So that works. Now we're going to compute the perimeter of a circle. So if you're not aware of how to compute the perimeter of a circle, meaning you're not sure of what the equation is, a um, couple of ways for us to do that. One would be, of course, to Google it. The other one is to guess and hope that we're correct and that our geometry teachers are not uh, rolling their eyes in disgust. So I think the perimeter of a circle is like 2r pi. Yeah, 2r pi, something like that. Because the, the pi is the ratio of a diameter to a circumference. So if we're looking for the circumference, which is the perimeter, um, I think we're looking at 2 times the radius times pi. So let's just give that a try. We'll say variable perimeter uh, result is equal to radius times 2 times, and this math.pi they literally mean you can just put that in and that's code. Eventually you'll find out that math is an object of kinds of, of, of a sense and pi is a specific property inside of that object and it's always going to be equal to an approximation of pi that can be useful. And we say an approximation of pi because pi is uh, non-ending and non-repeating so you can't actually ever store pi in a computer but you can come close and that's what math.pi does for us. So radius times 2 times math.pi return result and I think this should be good if it's not well we won't have to worry about if it's not so yeah perimeter of a circle funny way to say circumference I called it result because I didn't want to misspell it again and there you go area of a circle now, area of a circle I have better that's pi r squared so we want to say the area is equal to math dot pi times and I'm gonna put this in parentheses radius times times two, which as you recall previously is how we raise something to an exponent. In terms of order of operations, it's never a bad idea to wrap parentheses around them. Parentheses will just help you put things in the order you want them to be calculated in. And provided that you have, uh, what would you call it? Balanced parentheses, meaning we can't put a parentheses here and then not put one over here somewhere. But if we leave this one off, we now have it balanced because this one lines up nicely with this one. It'll calculate the radius squared first and then multiply that by pi. It'll assign that result to area and then we're gonna return area from the function. So, excellent work everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.